Hey guys, what's going on? So in the previous video, we saw the idea of methods and let's continue. But before we continue, what I'm going to do is I'm going to uh, increase the font size so it becomes more clear for you. Okay, so here it is, a bigger version. Cool. Okay, now in this video, let's talk about what is called as a constructor. Now, let me get into constructor and explain what that is. Let's talk constructors. Cool. Okay. A constructor basically is a special method in a class whose job is to create objects. And it is basically implicitly called, uh, what's that spelling? Change to, yeah, implicitly called. Okay, so let's talk about this for a second. I said constructor is a special method which creates objects and it is implicitly called. When I say implicitly in this context, it means it is automatically called, all right. Now, let us uh, create a constructor and then let me elaborate what it is. So I'll write public and then I'll write car. Notice, I'm, 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 all I'm doing is, I'm just writing the same name as that of the class, which is car. And then I say this dot before I do that, in this method, I am going to accept certain parameters. The first parameter is double mileage, okay? And the second parameter is int price. And the third parameter is int doors. Okay, so, so far so good, I hope, because this is straightforward, just method usage. And then let's get into it. So if I, want to create an object, I want to tell IntelliJ that there is a constructor. We are, in this case, we are using the constructor explicitly. So I'll write this dot mileage equals mileage. Okay, and this dot price is equal to price. You might be wondering what is this price? What is price? Let me come to that part real quick. So, so this is how we write a constructor. Notice there's mileage here and mileage here also. How do I differentiate? Look, mileage is a field here. And this, uh, and, and the mileage that I'm trying to highlight is the mileage value that is coming from the parameter. So here is a parameter, here is another parameter. So here it is. So let's talk about this. This dot mileage equals mileage. That's nice because what we are trying to do is we are telling set mileage set class classes uh, field mileage to be equal to mileage from the method. That's what we are doing when we say mileage equals mileage. Don't get twisted. All this, all we are trying to do is we are telling mileage from the classes variable is going to be equal to mileage. And then you might ask me, is this, uh, if, can I do something like this? No, you cannot do something like this because the compiler would get, will get confused. Then how do I make the compiler understand that mileage to my left hand side belongs to the class and mileage to my right hand side belongs to the functions parameter. All you have to do is make use of what is called as the, this keyword. The magic of this keyword is when you say this, you're trying to refer to the field 
variable. I hope it makes sense to you because if you don't use this, then what's the point? Look at this. You'll not be able to, you don't know what's going on if you do something like, you know, what I've done so far. So this dot mileage equals mileage, this dot price equals price, this dot door equals doors. Okay, so well, then if that is the case, then all we have to do is, now, now here is the thing, notice now when we do something like this, new car, and then inside the new car it's asking me mileage, price and doors, why? Because we created a constructor which is looking for mileage, price and doors. Okay, great. So what is the mileage? Let's enter 10.25 and uh, let's enter the cost, 30, 35. Let's make it 35 this time and it has four doors and obviously we end, we end anything with a semicolon. Now. What we did here is equal to what we used to do previously. So it is going to be equal to uh, Benz dot mileage is equal to 10.25. You know, do you remember this? Obviously, I hope you remember because we this was just one video back. So, so this is equal to explicitly specifying you know bends dot doors is equal to four you know what I mean so so this line can be just replaced here because we used a constructor automatically what the compiler does is it's going to create a new car having mileage 10.25 having price 35 grand and uh, doors being four so Let's try and check it out. If I right click and run main, voila, look at that. Benz has four doors because Benz.doors is four. Benz is priced at 35K, which is pretty good. And then the, the mileage of the Benz is 10.25. That is what we did here. And then we are calling car start and then car shut off method. So that is where we have the, these two lines. And I hope it makes sense, you know, when we'll find the usage, it's very, very imperative to understand the usage of the this keyword because it is used almost everywhere. And in usually at this point, all you have to know is usually the constructor is going to make use of this keyword because it wants to separate between what is the name that is already present here in the field to what is the name that is coming from the outside. And sometimes you might ask me, hey Rakshit, can I suppose if it was supposed to be mileages and prices and doors double S, I know it makes no sense, but let's just keep it hypothetically there. Then can I do something like this? Can I get rid of this? Yes, you can do that. You can certainly do that. And if you notice, IntelliJ is being very intelligent. Why? Because IntelliJ, it's giving a specific color for the variables that are fields. So you have to be able to recognize that if it's like, uh, what color is this? Is this like a darker version of pink? I don't know, probably you might comment. But you know, so that's the point, you know, this color, the darker version of pink is same as here. So basically it's indicating that, okay, uh, so what mileage here is as same as mileage here. It doesn't make a difference. So yeah, um, with that being said, it's a good practice to make use of this keyword, even though, even though um, this dot, price this dot doors and by the way it's going to be mileages here and prices here and do doors here um, so I hope you get the point with uh, this keyword so that's the idea when you say this basically it is referring 
to itself so in 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 other words this keyword is basically reference to whoever is using it now what do you mean by whoever is using it you know we are talking about the class that is using the this keyword uh, so yeah this keyword I hope it makes sense for you to understand uh, the usage of this because like I said it's continuously used and I hope at this point I made little sense with constructors uh, in the next video I would uh, get into more with constructors and uh, let's go from there and if you like this video give it a thumbs up subscribe and share um, yeah I'm just waiting for uh, your comments if you have any questions or concerns